Napoleon. All right. Here's a week's take. Nice. Good week, huh? Yeah, some high rollers. I'm gonna celebrate tonight, taking Serafina to the Continental Club. Hey, baby. Mm. Where's my boy? Mm. He's been playing handball in the alley all day. I thought the noise was gonna drive me nuts. My sister's looking after him tonight, though. Good. Oh, my God. My boy! Oh Christ.
Don Corleone, I am honored and grateful that you have invited me to your home. Serafina, it's been too long since you've come around. What's troubling you? Godfather? My husband was always loyal to you. He died for that loyalty. I have not forgotten you, nor the loss that you have suffered. Have you ever wanted for anything? Haven't I always taken good care of you? Padrino, forgive me. It's only that I'm so worried about my son. He's fallen in with some bad men. Fools. He's in trouble, and... Please. He needs your help. Godfather. I hope that their first child be a masculine child. Thank you, Luca. My most valued friend. Don Colio, I'm going to leave you now because I know that you are busy. Thank you. One more thing, my friend. I need you to find someone for me. Want you to say that kind of Luca? Just because you drove the fucking car? I'm the leader of this gang, and you get what I say you get. Ah! Stay down, punk! <laughs> Take his pockets. My name is Luca Brasso. I've been looking for you. You do. You just stay right there. You're gonna help me teach the kid how to look after himself. Now, let's see what you got. You know the basics now. Let's see you use them. Okay, tough guy, your turn. Attack the kid. So, kid, you and me, we got some business. Come take a walk. I've been looking for you for a while. You and me were gonna get real close, see? You'll need a map. Help you find your way around. Together with your notepad, you'll be able to find all the harder spots in town. <laughs> I still forget where the hell I am from time to time.
<laughs> Must have been one in the chamber after all. I work for Don Corleone. Maybe you can help us out. Luca's gonna meet you outside. I wouldn't keep him waiting. Hey, kid. Let's take a walk. Ah, it's less crowded now. I like that. Makes it easier for a man to get his business done. I make good money, I help the family, I get a little action on the side. But one thing must be understood. I would never go against the Godfather. <gasps> Don Corleone is a man I respect. Old Emilio. He doesn't seem to give a damn about paying us respect. He's giving his kickbacks to the Tatalians. Needs to be taught a lesson. I want you to have a word with Emilio. Convince him to pay his dues to the Corleones. Think you know what to do? Sort of. How should I handle it? Eh, it depends. With some guys, you only need to show a little respect. Just walk up to him and talk to him. A little negotiation goes a long way. Got it. And if the guy don't look like he's gonna crack? Then you remind him why he needs protection in the first place. Try turning up the pressure, but don't go too far. A man pushed past his limits can be dangerous. Capiche? You wanna earn some protection money? First, you gotta find a business right for the taking. To extort the owner, you gotta convince him that it's in his interest to pay us, capiche? Each merchant falls under different kinds of pressure, and everyone has a weak spot. Some folks will listen to reason. Others, well, you're gonna have to uh, apply pressure. When targeting a merchant, you'll see his pressure show up under his health. Everyone has two lines, where they'll give in and where they'll fight back. The closer you can push a merchant to their breaking point without pushing them over, the more cash you'll take home. But be careful. A man can only take so much. Push them too far and they'll snap. Maybe even take you on. 
Persuasion is an art. You can threaten the poor schmo with your bare fists or a gun. You can smash up his shop, even beat up some unlucky customers. All sorts of ways. Me? I like the simple approach. Crack open the register with his own head. Sometimes, though, you won't even have to break a sweat. If a shopkeeper asks for a favor, you might be able to win him over by doing what he asks. Earn his loyalty, you'll be rewarded in kind. Ain't you supposed to be doing a job for me? Yeah, but... Yeah, but get to it. I ain't got all day. What do you... Luca Brasi sent me. He has some business he wants to settle with you today. Why should I even give you a dime? Why don't you guys bother someone else? Listen, Emilio. The Corleones run this neighborhood. If you're not paying them, you'll pay the consequences. I already paid this month. I won't let you squeeze me no more. Refuse me once more, and you're a dead man. Got it? Never. This is Tatalia turf. They'll kill me. Don't make this hard on yourself. Pay me, and I'll go. I already paid this month. I won't let you squeeze me no more. Get your money! Some people gotta learn the hard way. You won't be needing this. Refuse me one... What are you doing? Luca Brasi sent me. He has some business he wants to settle with you today. Why should I even give you a dime? I'm trying to run an office business here. Why don't you clean this place up? Listen, Emilio. The Corleones run this neighborhood. If you're not paying them, you'll pay the consequences. I don't want no trouble with you. Take the money. Give Luca Brazzi my regards. You want to own New York City? You want to be the king? Gotta control the rackets. They're all over town, usually in some crappy little shop with a dirty secret. These shops are called fronts, and they're hiding the illegal racket stuff that's being pushed on the streets. Break the shopkeeper, and maybe he'll let you poke around his business. If you're lucky, you'll find the racket boss. Try cracking some skulls and persuade him to show the Corleone some loyalty. But it's better to buy him out instead, if you can afford it. The more rackets you control, the more cash you'll make for the family. But to be a real earner, you have to find the warehouses supplying the fronts. These fortresses are a tough nut to crack. But if you take one over, you'll discover where all the liquor, weapons, and other racket merchandise actually arrives in New York. The hubs. Taking over a hub is the key to breaking the rival family's back. There's another way to get your teeth into those rackets. Hijack their supply trucks first. Each neighborhood is full of trucks smuggling goods from warehouse to business and back. Stop the truck and take out the guards, then rough up the driver. Take his keys, stash the truck somewhere safe, and you'll score some fat loot. Finally, don't forget to check in on the local brothels and casinos. Those gamblers, pimps, and madams tend to stick together, but if you smooth talk the owner just right, Ooh. you might find yourself sitting in the lap of luxury.
get out of here. You can't... The Corleones are looking to share in the action. What's that worth to you? Son, it's your lucky day. I accept. Hey, this is my neighborhood. You and your paisan must honor me. Okay, okay. I don't want no trouble. I don't like cheapskates, but I'll take what you've got. Maybe we'll see each other around sometime, huh? It's the old story, kid. Make trouble, and the cops are gonna be all over you. The bigger the crime, the more heat that comes down on your head. Cops will be everywhere, and they won't be too friendly. That is, if they ain't already shooting. Manage your heat by bribing cops on the street or cooling your heels at a safe house. Each neighborhood is run by a police captain. Leave some palms with this guy, and he'll make sure all his lackeys look the other way if you want to wave your gun around. Hell, they might even fight for you, as long as you don't push things too far. If you join the family, you'll get Tom's report. All our guys report back to Tom and tell him the heat levels in each neighborhood. Keep an eye on the heat, or you might get burned. Jeez, what took you so long? You get the money? Yeah. Hand it over. See? I told you this business was interesting, huh? I want you to meet up with a friend of mine, Paul Gatto. Show him this. That way he'll know you're a friend of mine. I gotta go. You look like you want to talk to me? You must be the new guy I heard about. Interested in making a little money? Hey, sure. What can I do for you? There's a barber on Mott Street, protected by the Tetalias. Show him who runs this town and the place will be yours. <laughs> you might even get a free haircut out of the deal. When you're done, talk to some of the other merchants you see. A good Corleone enforcer always know. starts out as a good earner. You understand? Thank God! Oh, punk. Be foolish, little man. For a small fee, I can offer you some protection. Get out of my shop. Just get out of here, okay, fella? What that guy? Get your grubby hands off of me. Get your hands off me. Let me go. I wonder if you'll have a bite. I told you to stop. Ah, look me up. I'm gonna fall. Get your hands off me. These razors are really sharp, aren't they? I'll do what you say. Just don't hurt me. Close it. Maybe I'll come get you later, kid. Might have some.
fresh look, you'll feel like a new man. Sure. A new look never hurt nobody. me out none of my customers shop here anymore and I think I know why will you do me a favor okay lady what do you need there's this drug dealer hangs around out back he and his scumbag friends are scaring away my customers please get rid of him for me I'll see you later. Probably at the morgue. I'm looking for Pauli Gatto. Luca. Luca sends his love. So, you Luca's new errand boy? I ain't nobody's errand boy. Hey, take a joke, why don't you? Take it easy. Take it easy. Look, Luca told us about you. He's just, uh, busting your balls, Pauli. Right, Pauli? Thinks he's a comedian. Meet Marty Malone. He ain't a free sight, but, My uh... friends call me Monk. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Okay, okay, this ain't no tea party. We got work to do. Now follow me. It's right around the corner. The Undertaker's daughter just got out of the hospital. She got beat up pretty bad by a couple of punks. We gotta off these guys. No. We're under orders. Just beat them up real bad. So keep you cool. I'll show you what to do. Me and Paulie are just gonna chaperone over here. Make sure things don't get out of hand. Quiet. Come on. Follow me. Don't make Luca a lie. All right? He said you wouldn't have any problem teaching these two degenerates. Hey, come on. We won't hurt you. We just... Oh, shit. Run!
She's still so damn broad. We were just having some fun. Looks like there's nobody home in this one. Nah, he's down there. Maybe you can use some so company. Oh, again? Oh, you know you ain't gonna do it again. Jeez, you should have learned to treat the games a little nicer, with a little respect. Now it's too late. Good night, sweetheart. Come on. That's enough. Oh, Luca was right. You got balls. You did good, just like he said. Now get the hell out of here. He's waiting for you over in the bowery. Hello, I hope you haven't been waiting long. It's a shame I have to see you here. Rest his soul. He's in a better place now. It really should be you instead of him. Rest his soul. He's in a better place now. Follow me. It's for your own good. This ain't no weapon like from your army boy days, but it'll do the job. Come on, let's see what you can do. Hey, thanks. It's a loud one. Scares away curious people. Can't be traced, neither. Give that dummy a few slugs to the chest. What if your target's wearing a vest? Then you gotta aim for an arm or a leg. See if 
fast, kid. Wake on your rain. I got something to do for the Don. It's a secret. And we're the only ones who know, so let's keep it that way, huh? Don Corleone wants me to act like I'm unhappy here and make peace with Salazzo so I can get on the inside. We're going to Midtown and you're driving. Hold with the questions. There's an alley over there where you can keep an eye on the meeting. If anything happens, get out of there fast and find Monk. Io capito che non sei contento più con la famiglia Corleone. Capace che vuoi cambiare? Ti vuoi mettere con me? Pars de zar de san nebon. Cinquenta mila dollari dalla Brigip. Va bene. D'accordo. Va bene? Grazie.
Hello? Monk. Yeah? Monk. Something terrible's happened. Hey, hey, not on the telephone, kid. All right, I'll meet you. When? Barbershop on March Street. I'll meet you down there this afternoon. But... I can't make it sooner. Keep your mouth shut, all right? I'll see you later. You go out and ambush a late night coonie deal. There's always a price for the taking. Look for us. And for fuck's sake, if you see us, help us out. The Corleones will protect your newsstand for a small weekly fee. Your threats don't scare me, Dirtball. End of discussion. Got it? Oh, no! What do you want? Don't do anything stupid. It's your move, buddy. What you gonna do, punk? I didn't do nothing. are gonna hear about this. Get your grubby hands off of me. Get your hands off me. Let me go. Watch Ooh. it. Should I look for you in the obituaries? Pay. You're very persuasive. I give in. Bit out of your There's guys out there that would love to run you out of business. I can protect you. Never. This ain't your turf, buddy. End of discussion. Got it? Some people gotta learn the hard way. <laughs> You're about to have a bad day. Let me go! Damn it, stop picking on me! Get your grubby hands off of me! I'm trying. Get your hands off me! Don't throw me around like that! You can't roll cigars if you ain't got any thumps, Kavish. Oh, pain! Hey, what else could I do? Let him get away. What's next? Let's take him down. Let somebody hit this guy. I give up.
Does the boss know you're slacking off? Leones are taking over. Accept this and go home, okay? You got it, Mac. I'll make sure you get your cut. Looking for something? Nice, huh? I'll give you a good price. You got yourself a deal, Mac. You'll be good, eh? But not too good. There's guys out there that would love to run you out of business. I can protect you. The cops run this town, not you thugs. Beat it. Please, I'm just doing my job.
stop this old Let go! You want a piece of me? Did you want a pie to go? The Corleone family wants to make sure your bakery stays safe, see? You don't scare me, you Corleone scum! I just want to earn an honest living! Give me what I want, now! Did you want a pie to go? I want to offer your bakery some protection on behalf of the Corleones. You don't scare me, you Corleone scum! I just want to earn an honest living! Keep your paws to yourself! <laughs> Ow! I'm gonna count you. Don't worry. Most of my patients are still- Beat it. I'm not buying into your scam. You ain't gonna report- Go find another sucker. I ain't interested. You got balls hanging out. I want to offer your bakery some protection on behalf of the Corleones. You don't scare me, you Corleone scum! I just want to earn an honest living! <laughs>
Be a good little baker. Give me what I want. Okay, I see what you're saying. Is it true the boss works for the Mafia? Don Corleone wants to buy you out. Is this enough for your retirement? That seems like a fair price. You got yourself a deal. Monk's looking for you. He's over at the barber shop. Hey, stop that call! Hey, mister. Monk Malone, you know him? I'm supposed to meet him here. Hey, relax. He went outside for a few. He'll be back. Take a seat. Keep the car running. It's a work day. Keep your mind on the job. Hey, Francis! Marty! Over here! Hey, sis. How you doing? How's the old man? Good. Most days. He's tired. Respect the flavor. I'm gonna buy some fruit. Okay, Bob. Not a chance. What's up? Monk! Thank God. Luca's dead. Luca? Thank you very much. You're very kind. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Monk. No, will be all right. Frankie, my sister, she's out there. Make sure she's okay. sister. Yeah, why? He's been shot. Oh, God. What happened? It was a hit. I think the Don is dead. Hey, you gotta help me get my pop to the hospital. Get in. We'll follow the ambulance.
There's more of them over there. What's going on here? Tell me. Salutes. He's got your consigliere, Tom Hague. They're hiding in an old diner in Brooklyn. Drive the ambulance to the hospital. It's on the north side of Little Italy, near East Houston Street. Watching a movie, get him out of here. Afraid of him. Get your ass over here. Hey, kid. Don't mind, Sonny. It's just that seeing this pop like that. So, what happened out there? We got trapped on the bridge. The guy there says something about Salazzo and your consigliere. Consigliere? Tom, what else did he say, kid? This is important. What else? He said they were in an old diner in Brooklyn. Christ. I hope Tom is okay. He's not the fighting type. We'll take it from here, kid. Stay out of trouble, and I might have a job for you sometime. Go home or something. 